every single day you have the power to elevate or diminish. With the tongue, I can set on fire the course of nature. I can have people ready to hit me and fight me. <laughs> That's all I have to use. I can have you. I can have a waiter. I can have a co-worker. I can have a wife or a husband ready to literally hate me. And all I got to do is use this right here. Hateful, spiteful, bad tone, bad manners. Eh! And then hold my fingers together when I pray and it matters. Maybe pull my thumb in a little bit. No, too much. Right about there. That ought to be a good pose. Reach a little higher. Oh, and I don't care how you pray. So please don't be self-conscious about it. I'm saying sometimes that's where we dwell. If I can get my church behavior down, if other Christians can know that, oh, praise the Lord, I'm talking to Papa God. Okay, good. God bless you. You know what your Papa God said for you to do? I'll give you Matthew. I'll give you a quote. If you come to the altar to bring a gift to me and there you remember that your brother has ought against you, first, somebody say first. In other words, stop doing what you're doing. I don't care about your gift. First, go be reconciled to your brother. Then come back and offer something to me. I don't want your gift until you learn how to treat each other. Treat each other with respect. Then come back and bring me a gift. That's what God would say. Can you tackle that one day at a time? I'm not asking you to make any New Year's resolutions. I'm asking you to think of, just like they said a while ago, 365 opportunities you have this year to get it right one day. Start today. And tomorrow morning when you get up, say, I'm going to get it right today. I'm going to elevate somebody. I'm going to connect somebody to him. I'm going to help somebody get past the hard place they're at. I'm going to volunteer to see if I can do something good for someone else. I'm going to give my service to God. I'm going to do the Holy Spirit thing. Oh, 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 wait. One last theology and I'll quit. I could do this all day. I'm sorry. When I say do the Holy Spirit thing, I don't mean ask him for more. Come on, God, give me more. Holy Spirit, come into me. I, that's not what I mean. I mean the way he said. This spake he of the Holy Spirit. They didn't know anything about it yet. You know what the phrase is? Out of you shall flow rivers of living water. Out of you. The Holy Spirit doesn't want you to get up every day and say, oh, God, give me more. Give me. The Holy Spirit wants you to get up every day and say, God, who can I bless today? How can I help today? Who can I show your love to? Out of you will flow out of you, out of you. You go in a restaurant sometime this week or today, will you be nice and kind and loving? If you go visit someone who's sick, don't, don't worry about what you're wearing. They don't care what you're dressed in. I, this, I, my hair is not right to go see somebody. They don't care. But they care that you genuinely love them and genuinely respect them. And you genuinely want to know if there's anything you can do to make life a little easier. You've got 365 opportunities to be Christ to somebody. Do that.